Wildfires driven by ferocious winds and fueled by dry conditions raged through parts of western North Dakota over the weekend, leading to one death and forcing more than 100 people to evacuate their homes. Officials don't expect the region's tinder dry conditions to improve soon. Six significant wildfires were reported, and four of them were nearly or completely contained, state officials said Monday. Downed power lines were believed to have ignited at least some of the fires. The fires burned in scattered areas over a vast swath of North Dakota's oil fields, including agricultural land, grassland and rugged badlands terrain where small, rural towns dot the map. Wind gusts reported Saturday morning in areas of western and central North Dakota ranged from 57 mph to 75 mph, according to the National Weather Service. Most of western North Dakota is in some level of drought, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. The 44-square-mile Elkhorn fire near Grassy Butte was 20% contained Monday, and the 18-square-mile Bear Den fire near Mandaree was 0% contained, according to the State Department of Emergency Services. Johannes Nicholas Van Eden, 26, of South Africa, died during a large fire near Ray in northwest North Dakota, the Williams County Sheriff's Office said Sunday. Detective Dan Ward declined to say how he died, citing an active investigation. Another person was critically injured, the Sheriff's Office said. Kherson authorities say four Russian glide bombs struck civilian infrastructure in the Ukrainian city on Monday morning, injuring 18 civilians. A three-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl were among the injured, sustaining leg injuries in the attack. The Kherson Regional Military Administration said a total of four guided aerial bombs were dropped on the city, damaging residential buildings in the city center. One of the bombs also hit a previously destroyed school, regional authorities reported. Бригадам екстреної медичної допомоги до закладу було госпіталізовано двох дітей трьох та чотирьох років, які отримали поранення внаслідок обстрілу. Діти отримали міновибухову травму, скалкове поранення нижніх кінцівок, стан дітей середнього ступеню важкості, лікарі надають необхідну медичну допомогу. Ми знаходилися вдома, різко прозвучав мощний зв'язок. Сначала один прилет, начало выносить полностью все окна. Вот, детьми, сразу на трое детей маленьких, начали убегать с комнаты. Развучал второй взрыв, посыпалось все.
у нас 20 рятувальника, Игорь Иванович сейчас убили, будет вынять, да. Сейчас вышку.